Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to review here this Oxy Ultra Deluxe, another Dollar Tree product. And it's um, made by Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the video. If you have ever tried this here dish detergent, please let me know in the comment section below this here video. I'm going to go ahead and start off by adding a few squirts of this dish detergent to my dish pan. And I'm going to also fill it up with some lukewarm water. And if this is your first time tuning into the channel, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let me find a place here on the counter where I can make this video um, all about this here. Dish soap. I, I don't know. I'll find a place. So, it's the Oxy Ultra Blue Color Dish Detergent. And it's filling up nice. There we go. It's in frame. Alright. The suds are looking very promising here. Alright, good. There you go. So, like I said, it's all about you, Mr. Oxy Ultra. Alright. So, yeah. So I have a dish pan that was empty. I put a few squirts of the dish detergent in it. Now I'm going to go ahead on and soap up. Make sure the water is nice and soapy. I'm not sure. I probably should have added more, but I did not. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this here coffee mug. And I made sure that the, the coffee that was left over was nice and dried up in the coffee mug. Just so we can get a clean, like, um, I wanted to get a great review on this here product. So I'm going to wrench it around, wrench it around. And it's already, like, giving me that clean, squeaky action. Can you hear it? Look, I think I'm just, like, enjoying washing the mug at this point. Alright, okay, that was dish number one. Okay, okay, promising. Clean. Go ahead to dish number two. This here bowl, it has some dried up ketchup in it. And guys, I try to make sure that, um, like, the food stains were dried. So I left the dishes off to the side to do their thing to dry so we can get an actual factual review here of Oxy Ultra. And it's looking promising. Look at that. Wrench it around. I think I'm enjoying this. Are y'all enjoying these reviews? Let me know in the comment section below this here video. Look at these forks. Oh my god. The food is caked on, baked on. Look at that. You can tell exactly what we had for dinner at this point. Look at that. Oh, man, that is a hot diggity dag mess in that glass bowl. Ooh, ooh, a mess. Uh, I'm going to let that soak off. So, that was that fork that had that good old nice dried up coleslaw on it. And voila, it cleaned good. It cleaned, like, really, really good. Look at that rinse. Quick, fast, and down to the punch. Boom. Done. Last bowl, guys. Lord. Okay. Here we go. The spoon. Nice and clean. The second fork. It's doing its thing. Okay. Okay. Nice and clean. Okay. Um. And no, I did not add any bleach. If you all been rocking with me, you know that. I love to add some bleach to my dish water, but I wanted to get like the raw real without any dish. Um, without, I'm sorry, not dish, without any type of bleach. And also, I checked out the label and I'll show you. I'll get into that portion of the video in a few seconds. 
this bowl is giving me a little bit of resistance here okay but we made it on through nice and clean all right here we go let's go ahead on dig into this glass bowl the mukbang was real with that bowl did y'all see like the cake on food it was epic diva was here for whatever was in that bowl what was in that bowl is my actual next video so i will be posting some more cooking videos here on the channel very soon i have some nice ones for you guys but however i'm enjoying these review product reviews and we'll be getting more of these product reviews as well here on the channel oh my god look at that bowl it's nice and polished yeah look Okay, as you all can tell, I'm enjoying washing these here dishes. I am. I'm like into it. Like wrench it around. Wrench, wrench, wrench. Who does that? Who enjoys that? Okay? Only, only Diva. In the glass bowl. Okay. Whoa. Ruby. Oh my God. Oh, one more. One more time for the inside. There we go. Wrench it around. Wrench. Wrench. And it's a, I don't, you know what? Okay, go for it. Scrub, scrub. There's nothing left in there. It's just the power of the clean, I believe. All right. Let's go ahead and rinse it off. Look at that bowl. Oh, my goodness. Now, the water, I do see that the suds, are not giving up that longevity and I expected the suds to be a little bit more like pretty much uh, longevity because the liquid in the bottle is pretty much it's nice and thick I don't know if I didn't use enough of it but it's still effective and it's cleaning but the suds longevity is not there and that's um, and like I said, the back of the label, I didn't use any bleach. And this is why the back of the label said no chlorine bleach. And if you all been rocking with me, you know that I love to use a few drops of bleach in my dish water. Here we have a nice greasy pan that was left of it. And look at that grease. I'm trying to write my name in there for you in cursive, of course. And like I said, this here... Um, the dish water is not giving up any suds at this point. The suds are gone. The grill is gone. However, I'm still like impressed with the fact that it is clean. And can you all hear like the squeakiness of the plastic? You know, when you're cleaning something that's plastic and it gives you that like squeak, squeak to the point that it like irritates your teeth a little bit. It's clean. And I'm impressed without any type of suds here in the world just a few probably a few here and there suds look how well this dish soap is still cleaning now me i'm a big fan of suds i want the suds i want the suds but it's cleaning and i'm impressed and i was checking out the back of the bottle and it didn't pretty much it was just like a basic you know hey this is what's inside of it this is what, you know, this is that, this is that. Nothing too impressive with the back of the label. And look at there. It is clean. Can you believe that? And I noticed that the water did turn like green. It went from blue to green. And and I think that's why I was looking at the back of the label to see if that was an indication to change the water. So... I didn't see an indication to like change the water and make new water and there was definitely no directions on you know you know changing water or anything like that but guess what this greasy pan here look you can even see the difference look at the difference and you can hear that squeak look i, I just want I just want to like do my thing one more time, wrench it off one more time without suds. Like, like, look, squeaky, squeaky, 
squeaky squeaky all around. But I don't like the fact that it's no longevity with this um, bubble. However, I think that was because I did not add like half a bottle in there. So look, the inside even looks totally different. Good Lord. I'm impressed guys. I'm truly impressed with this here dish soap from Dollar Tree. And it's only a dollar. And I'm like a few dishes in and it was still like performing doing its thing. It was still cleaning. So this is an awesome, awesome product for a buck. It's going to do its thing. I think if I would have added more um, liquid detergent would have gave me more suds. Until next video, to next live, God bless.